guys welcome to a little computer upgrade video I'm doing upgrading this system it's an old system um, it's a old gigabyte ultra durable AM3 plus system it's got an 8120 AMD FX CPU in there old it's 32 nanometer technology PCI Express 2.0 so it runs and I can watch YouTube I can surf the net but that's about it I mean it's I play games on it. it's just old it's time for an upgrade so let's see what you're gonna get I built this the AMD Ryzen 3900X 12 core CPU. You see that? Socket AM4, so PCI Express 4.0 already. I am uh, not using this. I'm going to use the liquid cooler that's in there already. I think it'll be fine. Should be just fine. Let me move this out of the way so you can see that. So I look forward to, to getting this up and running. I really am. 12 cores, 24 threads. Should be fine. I'm going to use this for mostly video editing. I'll game on it probably, but video editing and gaming. That's about it. So can't wait to get this in. All right. I did buy a... Um, Rocket Sabrent NVMe 4.0, one terabyte, but might as well. I mean, it has the motherboard has three slots for it, so I'm hoping I'm just going to use this for uh, the video editing. I'll, I'll edit off of this only, maybe games, but I don't think games really benefit for this anyway, so. That's one terabyte. That was two hundred dollars for this. So only get two terabytes, but it was four hundred or so. Anyways, and then I'm gonna put the operating system on this. This is an older, old one that I've had for a while. I had it in another computer. It had games on it, and I upgraded. It's a five hundred gig. I upgraded to a two terabyte. So I took this out and it's been sitting. So I'll figure I'll use it. I'll use it in this build. Put my operating system on it. Uh, memory. Got the G skill. Trident Z Neo. DDR4. This is dual channel. But it's it's 64 gigs of dual channel. So 3600 megahertz. Um, so if you can see that. Should be just fine. 64 gigs should be plenty of memory. I don't think I'll need any more than that. So I look forward to this. What are the timings on this? Oh yeah, 16, 19, 19, 39, 1.35 volts. So four sticks of 16 gigs each. Yeah, usually you put 16 gigs in a typical computer, but this has, whew. anyways, that's the memory. It's RGB, yeah, I'll mess with it. And then, of course, the motherboard. I don't know if you can barely see this. This is it's the uh, MSI Meg X X570 Ace. So um, I really like this board. It's like the way it looks, and I do like MSI. So I look forward to this. It's got three of the um, M.2 PCI Express 4.0 so I only have one but we'll see I might I just might buy another one before I build it we'll see it won't be hard to to pop a new one in just got to pop out the graphics card and be done with it so we'll see I'll probably wait I'll have a terabyte and a half of M.2 storage NVMe 
So this should be nice. I do like this board. I think it's up to 128 gigabytes on this board. So, um, and I believe these operate off the CPU, I believe. So look forward to that. Leave that over there. Put this over here. And then this is the computer I'm going to be upgrading. Oops. Let's see if I can get a closer look at this thing. So, not sure if the camera angle is any good. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Let me move it back a little bit. So, it's got three of the 500 gigs. These are 500 gigs. Samsung solid state drive. So, two 850 Evos and there's one 860 Evo that I'm going to keep. So, it's a terabyte and a half of uh, SSD. It's only got a GeForce GTX 970, but I'll have to upgrade that later. Excuse me. Um, but it's got PCI Express 2.0. <laughs> so it's time for an upgrade. Go from PCI Express 2.0 to PCI Express 4.0. Yeah. Huge upgrade. Huge upgrade, I guess. Anyways. So. Only thing that's left, I guess, is to build. Huh? Build, build, build. But anyways, we'll get to that in the next video. I haven't quite sure how I'm going to film it yet. Either up or like this or I'm not sure. Two cameras, who knows. But it should be fun. All right, guys. I'll see you in the build building. See you in the building. See you in the building log. It's building blog. Yeah, that's better. All right. Okay, guys, let's uh, <coughs> let's put the CPU in, the memory in, and I think I'll put the SSD drives in too. Also, so let's first start with the motherboard. Let's open her up. See what she looks like. Oh yeah. Um, let me just open up. I don't think I need anything in here. Oh, I might need the uh, screws for the M.2. So let's see what you got in the box. DVD, probably drivers, which I don't, I don't even have that. And looks like a bunch of yeah, quick setup guide. MSI shout outs. Oh, you got some nice SATA. Those are kind of handy. You can actually mark the drive, which I m might use when I put the, the motherboard in the case. Thank you for choosing MSI. And True Gaming. Oh, yeah, it has a different. I think I have, I have this one coming, I believe. I have to double check on that. Anyways. Let's see what's in the bag. I do need is... Oh, here they go. Only got one, huh? I got one. Two gaming badge. Seriously? I only have one. Ah. Looks like one of the uh, LED motherboard plugins. Okay. That's the wireless, that's a Wi Fi antenna. Yep, another RGB header. Another RGB header. What's this? 
of SATA cables. Also, you have a couple of SATA cables. But I only have one. Seriously. Unbelievable. I only have one of these. Which I'm supposed to have three. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They're in the bag. So that's what I need. Three of these. I only, actually only need two, technically, because I'm only going to put in two drives at the moment. I do have more on the way, but... Okay, let's put this back. Let's put this back. Put this back on here. I don't like how it doesn't sit very well. have to leave that out for now. So I'm going to do close this up. Let's leave these over here and then let's take a look at the motherboard. Okay, let's open her up. Hopefully she is good. Nice. Wow. The IO shield is all built in, which is very nice. I like this board. Very nice. here for now. I want to close. Okay, you know what? I'm going to put this back in the box. Yep. We'll see if I fire it up today. Okay. So I want to put the CPU in the socket. Right here is the arrow. So let's get the CPU open. Hopefully you can see this. There she is. I am not going to use the cooler. Although that's a pretty nice cooler, but I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to leave that in there. Let's cover this back up. Put that aside. Let's bring this to here. Don't know what that is. I hope I can see that. There's the CPU. Pretty nice. So there's the arrow. Yep, I'm pretty sure the arrow's right there. Of course, my eyesight is not. Second guy is gonna adjust my light here. Kind of blinding me. So I cannot see, I don't know what it looks like. I have to break out the old, let's see, maybe it's just the view angle isn't the best. Yeah, it is.
see that now we're right in the corner there okay so let's take this you can see the hour right there so that's just gonna plop right in there and we're in the corner and she's in there good okay now what i'm gonna do is let's just open these up and i'm going to put the old memory in let's put this back there here's the memory 64 gigs sticker was stuck there but okay let's plop the memory in come on there we go Got a sticker for everything very nice. I've never used G skill before, so I think I've always used Corsair, so. All right, looks like the short side. Okay. Let's get up this one. I should have done the Okay, that's two in. I'll probably save those stickers too, actually. Let's get this in. Okay, another sticker. Pretty nice memory. Hear those two little clicks. Easy peasy, huh? My bad. All right, let's put this there. So Let's turn it this way. And I probably should get the damn motherboard manual. Look, it's got the sticker on there. All the stickers on, if you can see that, and all the stickers on the heat shields. Play hard, stay silent. Okay. put this baby in. This is already kind of open, so I don't have to probably should get a knife. All right, let's move some stuff around here. I do have my iFixit toolkit, which is very nice. Only way to go. So, you know what? How they get the motherboard manual? Actually, no, I don't. It should say right on the board, I think. 
Uh, maybe not. I'm about to. Yeah, I might have to. Might have to look. It's not very tight, huh? To see which slot is which. I don't think. Oh, uh, kind of want to go one, two, with and three, and leave leave three open. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry, I had to had to get uh, this real quick. I'm just gonna look up really quick the uh, M.2 layout so I know. Yep. So it starts M.1, two, three. So, okay. Perfect. So I will start here. Oh, and I have this thermal, I don't use thermal grease. I use these thermal pads, which I have in two of my computers, maybe three. And they're way, I, I have no, no issues with them. So we're going to try that. Okay. Let's get the 960 Evo in. Pretty, pretty simple. We'll loosen this up. Pull that out. See the little thermal pad on there. So let's open this up. Like I said, I've used this drive already. Oops. And then my little trusty screws, these things you do not want to lose. They are very tiny. Look how small that is. <laughs> it's a tiny screw. And my tip is too big. So we'll go a little bit smaller. Go nice and even. And that is simple as that. And I'm going to Peel this little sticker off here. And tighten, oops, got to change the tip. <laughs> And that's done. I guess I will peel that one off too. Simple. These are so simple to do. They really are pretty simple. Okay. So that was the 960 Evo M.2, 500 gigs, which I'm, I'm not sure. I might not put my operating system on that. I might actually save that for games and then. We'll see. I might. Or we might. All right. Let's open up this baby. Uh, let's see here. All right. Look how small small this box is. It's so tiny. It's unbelievable. 
All right. So here she is. These look so small. Like the little tin case it comes in. That's kind of cool, huh? Kind of opens right up. Unlock. Unlock the speed. I believe there it's 22, 2280 is the size of the drive. But this is a one terabyte. So comes like a little and kind of shows you how to put them on. It's very simple to do. So I don't need that. Very simple. So let me get once again, pop this open. Slide that off. Let's get the drive out and it just, that edge just matches this edge there. This time hold the box, slides right in. I think I'm supposed to take that out. I don't. Let me take it out for a second. Like this thing is kind of in the way. Let me take that out. Slide this in again. That's that's better. Let's open up our second. I actually bought a bunch of these, so and if they didn't include it, I do have, I have a bunch. I bought a little set of them because sometimes motherboard holds us down and the screw goes in. Now you don't have to go too tight. And that's it. Very, very, I like the case. That is kind of nifty. <laughs> I do like that. That is kind of nice. I think I'll read this later. I'm going to read that later. Anyways, all right, enough yapping here. Let's get this back on. Un unpeel that. Set very oh, my bad. That's not how that works. You don't need that here, Ray. Silly me. You don't need that. Yep, this kind of. It's all one piece. It seems to hold everything in place. S silly me. That's it. So let's take this peel off. And like I said, they are so easy to do. And I kind of open this one up for nothing. What do I do with that little screw though? Well, there it is. Okay. So memory's in. CPU is in. And the two M.2 drives are in. And I do actually have one more of, I have one more of these coming. 
Spoiler alert. I might as well populate them all and I should be fine for a while. And I can easily, easily swamp them out. Okay. So really, I think how simple that was. I'm gonna peel this off right here. And I guess this can come off too. My graphics card would be in this slot. Maybe I'll leave that on. I don't know. I'll peel it off. Yeah, it'd be kind of silly. Looking through the... Okay. Anyways. Part one is done. Like I said, very simple to do. I'm going to read this off camera, but that's it. CPU is installed, memory is installed, and two of my M.2 drives are installed, so it's very simple to do. So I guess while we're here, let's go over the board. So CPU socket, here you have your two 8-pin uh, power supply, power power input for the CPU. I believe you only need one. I think if you're just going to do some serious overclocking, which is pretty much liquid nitrogen, you know, you, you use the other one. Here's your ATX 24 pin power supply, power adapter there. Um, let's put it this way here. So you got your PCI Express 4.0 slots, one, two, and three. These are the PCI Express times one slots at four speed, times four speed. Here's your debugger light. Um, here's your power and reset, which I kind of is nice on a test bench. You know, you can just use these as your power and reset. Um, Fan header, fan header, right here. These two are fan headers. Uh, or else your fan headers. Oh, you got one here, one here, and one here. And you got two right here, too, and behind the, I uh, can't see it, but behind the memory slots. So, <laughs> hopefully I can get this fired up today. I really kind of want to, oh, let me peel this off, too. All right, well guys, that was a quick just overview of how to put the CPU memory in and the M.2 slots in. So, not too difficult. We'll see you in the uh, time to put the motherboard in the case. That'll be the next step. All right, guys, we'll see you. All right, guys, so as you can see, I am going to fire up the motherboard outside the case. I do that quite a bit, actually, just to make sure it fires up before I actually put it in the case. Just a habit I like to do. So I have a spare power supply. I put the Wraith cooler, I believe it's called, from AMD that comes with this processor. And it had a little 960 GTX 960 EVGA video card laying around. So I'm going to go get a monitor and a keyboard and fire up. Let's see if she boots. Should go into BIOS at least. And I should be able to see my two M.2 drives. So let's see what happens. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Welcome, as you can see, I actually got the motherboard kind of out of the box and installed the, um, the cooler that comes with it just for now. I want to kind of, I like to boot up the, the motherboard, put the CPU in, put the memory in, and then boot it up. Damn dust. And then uh, make sure 
everything fires up and it runs properly. So let me hit the old button and get it started. Uh, let's see. If you can see the computer screen, probably not, but that's okay. Because what I'll do is should go to Windows pretty quickly. Goes into Windows pretty quickly. So as you can see, I got the the stock cooler that came with the CPU on there. It booted up, and it actually loaded Windows on. Jeff. <sighs> so, as you can see, memory's in, CPU is in. And it is, I, got a, I had a spare G4, GeForce GTX 960 hanging around, so I just threw that in there for now. But let me bring up Task Manager. Just want to show you. Wonderful. There you go. Boosting to 4.2 gigahertz. Supposed to boost to 4.6, but we'll see. But there's your 24 cores. AMD Ryzen 3900X. So. Anyways, just wanted to kind of give you a little. It booted up, and I got all the drivers in, Windows installed. I have to get a key, but it booted up. So next thing to do is put it in the case. So you can see. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a little overview of the computer here. I actually took the motherboard out, put the memory in, CPU in, CPU cooler that came with CPU. Kind of threw a little extra video card in there that I had, EVGA GeForce GTX 960. 
and put windows on it and boot her up so as you can see twenty four cores you can see my memory sixty four gigs plenty of memory won't have to worry about that of course I have this power supply hanging around I have a bunch of computer parts so it's ready to put in the case that I have upstairs so I gotta bring that down and disassemble the motherboard I'm just gonna pretty much leave the hard drives right where they are hard drive they have three SSDs in one mechanical hard drive so I'm just gonna pretty much unplug really everything on the motherboard pop the new motherboard in and uh, hopefully plug everything back into the new motherboard and should work the CPU does get warm as you can see 53 degrees and that's pretty much idle But let me see if I can create the fans. So basically, you got to bring up, got to activate Windows. Oops, not there. Sorry. There we go. Just takes a while for this to load. Uh, not too bad. All right, so we bring this up and then let's go to monitor. There we go. So you can see the temperatures 42. I'll drop down and that sticks. That's not working properly. This says 40 degrees, <laughs> 46, and this is stuck at 53. So, are we something? Oh well, fun, fun stuff to figure out. All right, well, we'll see you in the next one. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, this board. I'm going to take that cooler off. That's going to come off. And that's going to go in here. Take that board out, which is an old AM3, very old motherboard. Yes. And stick that board in there. So hopefully it goes well. Just going to unplug all the cables, leave them there, and then just plug it a new board in. So it shouldn't be, should be fairly simple. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get some of this. My eye fix it. Because that's the best tool kit in the world. Okay. All right, so let's take, wow, it gets dusty. So, GeForce, Chichik, Knight said, I have a new video card actually coming. It's a, uh, RTX 2060 from MSI. MS, MSI. So now 
Not sure if you're gonna be able to see all this, but let me kind of go like that. And you're not gonna see it. Okay. So let's start unplugging everything. And get this board out. I have to reroute a lot of this stuff. USB, 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 and audio. And then all my front, those are the ones I might have to reroute. Takes a four pin header for the motherboard. That's crazy. Now I'm pretty sure I have, I don't have thermal paste under here. I'm pretty sure I don't. Pretty sure. I could be wrong, though. Perfectly fine on the new one. Except these, I'm going to have to unplug. Turn on that remote. Hey guys, so I did end up finishing the computer. I just didn't record it. I was up to about two in the morning getting everything done. But uh, I will, uh, I will show you the end product in all its glory. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. I got a few more parts for this build that I'm doing. So kind of came in during the build, but anyways, one more of these. Rocket NVMe 4.0 M.2 SSD. I'm going to add in another terabyte. So I'll have two and a half terabytes of NVMe. 
storage. Two terabytes of piece, you know, the MV 4.0, and then one uh, 3.0. But anyways, I get grabbed the computer from upstairs and then just came in also. The MSI, Ventuous. What's that say? Graphics card. Ventuous GP Edition 2060 Super. So I'm going to take out my old GTX 970 in that computer and throw this in there. Shouldn't be, hopefully. I already got the drivers in, so it's really just swapping it out, really. And then I'll show you the computer also. All right. Let's open this up, actually, since you're here. Maybe we'll take a look at it real quick before we put it in. Just rip it up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I always forget my mic. i to make sure my mic was on. And then let's open this baby up. Just slide out, but like I said, never does. Don't know why. Everything's open. Come on. Come on, for God's sake. Uh oh, deepers. So easy, Ray. Man almighty. Wow. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Crazy. What is that? guide. Yeah, I think I can. Yep, don't forget to register, which I will. Oh. Let's see. Yeah. Good. Glad it's sealed. Sometimes you're like, Motherboard was well packaged. Well, looked like it was real sealed. We we sealed. That's nice. Oh, smells so good. Like how they put that you know protective thing over it. That way you don't put your fingers on that. But there it is, two slot, one eight pin, which is perfect. There it is. And I'll show you the back. It's like a nice little back plate on it. I kind of like that. Since the motherboard isn't on the box, it's hard to see inside, but that's okay. Okay, so touch the case. It's amazing how much.
save up some money. I'm always spending money on computers. Like I said, it doesn't take very long. It's my phone again. Hope you didn't hear that. But I'm a newbie recording, so bear with me. Okay, well, you're not going to see this, but... Yeah, these two things are... Yeah, I won't get into it. So I, I just got to open up. All right, guys, I finished. Finally, got the hard, you know, the SSD drive in, and I put the um, RTX MSI Ventuous 2060 Super in. So let me give you a little close up. I wish I could fire it up. I was hoping to get a. Um, I was kind of hoping to get a. Um, a. Uh, 4K monitor in today. I was going to kind of fire that up and show you it all lit up, but you can't even see it. There's the MSI RTX. So, but there it is with the new board in it and everything. Probably can't see it, but it's in there close-up of it <laughs> like I said I wish that monitor came in I would have fired it up but G skill and you can see the lights I have like a rainbow effect but anyways I can try to show you upstairs maybe we'll see but it's done so I'm gonna fire up and see how the MSI GeForce RTX runs. I do have a 4K monitor coming, 32 inch, but I gotta enable my new SSD. So, all right. We'll see you in the video. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the uh, end of the video. Almost. I was gonna show you the complete video i mean a complete build on, through windows kind of show you everything up and running you saw the the whole build process and all the parts but i'll show you up and running uh through windows so let me switch to the desktop and i'm going to bring up a little bit some software that i use to kind of show you everything Uh, let me bring up MSI Afterburner. I did get my new monitor in, by the way. It's kind of what I'm using. I mean, I might have to I'm recording this in 4K, but most of the video in this is not 4K. So you can see my AMD Ryzen 3900X, 12 core, 24 thread CPU here, running at 4.2 gigahertz. Here's my memory, <laughs> 64 gigs. <laughs> uh, the Trident Z Neo running at 3600 megahertz. Uh, you can actually see that right here. It's dual channel, so each channel runs at, at 1800 megahertz, but there it is. Um, here's the NZXT cam software that I have. Um, wow. A helicopter flew over me. I'll show you that. You didn't hope you didn't hear that. I'll show you the reason why. Um I have the uh the NZXT Kraken X52 all in one cooler, so I use that to cool the CPU. Um so and I have four fans. I have two case fans and the fans on a cooler. I use this software to control it. CPU does run a little warm, I think. It it's I don't know. It's I think it's just out of the box. I think commonly they do run a little warm. I did see uh, staying at 111 though. Oh, there you go. Now it bumps up to 124. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you this RTX voice that I use. This software is wonderful. Um, 
it kind of cuts out all the background noise. I'm not sure how it works. Some sort of AI learning, or I forgot how it does it. Um, but you do need an RTX video card for this. Any RTX video card will work, I believe. That's I'm pretty sure. Can't be it can't be the 10 series, but it has to be the 20 series RTX. And this software will work for it. Um, but let me show you. Let me bring you back to my camera and you can see the you can see the air conditioner running it's pretty loud and a helicopter just flew over and i have a window fan on that side too so it's pretty loud and uh you don't hear anything software is amazing amazing but let me go back to the desktop bring it back to the desktop and show you let me show you the hard drives my c drives these C drives and I drives are the uh, the Savant Rocket uh, 4.0 one terabyte drives, the NVMe drives. Um, let's go to drive details. The PCI, PCI Express Generation 4 times 4. So I, I have that as my C drive and the games and edit drive. So I'll, I'll put some games on it and then edit some videos on it. Uh, let me show you the 960 Evo is the other nvme drive just generation three but 500 gigs it, i mean speeds are wonderful look at the speeds on these drives you know so you go from that and then a regular i have three of the regular ssd drives just regular 2.5 inch drives and look at the speeds on these you know so you go from that to that so very fast read and write speeds i don't think i don't think the games at the moment don't really use that but hopefully they will soon um then then i have the ryzen master software i did put it i did put it on here i gotta learn how to use this and i think you can like look at my voltage it's like 1.42 volts on the cpu so i believe you can change the voltage down to like 1.37 um some YouTubers have messed around with this software to get the temperatures down to kind of a little low. I think it's like even 10 degrees, you know. But uh, anyways, that is the computer. Shrink that. I think that is all I'm going to show you at the moment. Um, but uh, hey, it's done. It's up and running. It's working. And I hope you enjoyed. All right, hit that uh, like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, see you in the next video.